Well, thank you, Wade. Uh, I'm going to talk a little about my experience with canola. And it hasn't been as continuous as Wade's. Uh, I raised my first crop in 2000, and I raised the second crop of it in 2001, and it's pretty much was for the same reason Wade was talking about. Uh, I had a rye problem, and so on 80 acres in 2001, uh, I put some canola on, treated it with a Sure 2, and had the rye down to where I could pull it. Um, I had an 80 acre field I did, and on the other side of the fence was an 80 acre I did not do. And we had been able to rogue that field. So I sold my canola for seven cents a pound, and it made not quite a thousand pounds. So somewhere in the 65 to 70 dollar range, I thought, well, I'm not going to waste my time doing canola anymore. So I continue on my way. Well, the field that had the canola, uh, I didn't have too many weed problems, grassy weeds. The 80 across the fence in 2005, uh, cheatgrass. So I took a hit from cheatgrass. So in 2007, well, I'll fix that. I sprayed it with Maverick. Yeah, good. Uh, cured my cheatgrass. So now we come along 2009. The field I had canola on was still clean. Uh, the field that I did not treat with canola, 2009, now I have goat grass. So now I, I eliminated rye and I got cheat grass, eliminated cheat grass, now I have goat grass. So I sprayed it with uh, Olympus Flex. Come back in 2011 and Again, got to go grass. So I sprayed it again with Olympus Flex. So I thought, you know, I better find out what's going on here. So I had always cut the fields together. And I thought, well, the yields were maybe four or five bushel difference. In 2011, 10 years after I had the canola, uh, I had 18 bushel difference. Five crops later. And is what it showed me, there's only one way to go after a grassy weed, and that's to use canola. And that was before we had, had Roundup ready. And, you know, <laughs> so now I'm back to planting canola. I finally caught on. My only problem now is I'm 66. <laughs> How many more of these 10-year lessons can I stand? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much my story, but I, I think uh, from what I've seen, if you have to go buy a gallon of a grass herbicide, really take a look at picking up a bag of canola instead. I think down the road, you'll be money ahead. If, if I take the, the 18 bushel, as average across those five crops. That's 90 bushel of wheat I gave up in five years. Trying to fix a problem with uh, something that comes out of a sprayer. So that's kind of my story. I kind of envy Wade, uh, him and Ed Townsend. Uh, they didn't give up at the seven cent canola. and they're a long ways ahead of me. And so that's what my story is. I, I think the canola is something that we have no idea what is out there for a potential. And uh, I can give you an idea from what I've lost. Uh, having only done 80 acres in 10 years, I wasn't very successful at my crop rotation. So now I'm going to try to improve on that. And I think that's something that everybody here uh, has the potential to do. Okay, thank you.